Tom, you're not you're not allowed to just steal people's kidneys, Tom. Yes, I am. Tom, no, no you're not. That's... You cannot enable that. That's a big no. Tom, you can't you can't just take people's kidneys. Yes, I can. Tom. I mean, well, first of all, you said you were there, but you weren't, and you were... Don't... Tom, that's mean. All right, I'm going to get on the roof. I have a silencer. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> what? That's a nice shit. You can't just He's the ringleader. He isn't stealing them himself. He's just funding the whole operation. Tom. Yeah. That's just as bad. No, it's not. T Tom, it? that is that is way worse. There's That's no blood on my hands. <laughs> there there is figurative hand. blood on your hands, good sir. No, he's not. Yes. Tom. That's that's pretty cruel to steal people's kidneys. Especially just What, what do you even do here. with them? I don't know. Tom, you no, you can't take a kidney and not have an idea. We have a lot of them. Tom, you don't have no. There's you you have two kidneys. Two. Well, no, we only took one from him. Well, right, but you can't say a lot. Two is not a lot. We're we're not we're Tom. I mean, I'm talking like upper 40s. <laughs> Tom, we don't have upper 40s of kidneys. Yeah, we do. That's too many kidneys. I know you might, but... I'm going to put them all inside me. That's... How Are you just going to be like the Invader Zim episode where he steals kids' organs to pass a physical exam? I've never seen that one. Oh my god, it's terrifying. <laughs> Tom, you can't... Yanking organs. You can't just take people's kidneys. Okay. I think it's uh, if you get a kidney trust, yes, I can. they don't actually remove the old one, so... No, they just put in new ones. Yeah, so... There are really? People out there with more, yeah, so there are people out there with more than two, kid, two kidneys. Yeah, yeah. but... It, okay, well... It, okay, first of all, those doctors are lazy. And here's here's why I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just gonna say that. Like, okay, if you if you if you have bad tires on your car and they don't take those old tires off, they just duct tape new tires on the outside of tires, they've not changed your tires. They can't say you're good to go. That hurts. That mental image hurts. I can see people doing that text. Why? <laughs> it's cursed. Like wearing two condoms. Tom. That does not work either. <laughs> It's just like a case that costs. It's a extra. Just need to turn them inside uh, out. Oh. <laughs> extra protection. Don't don't try to get lewd. Mecca will drop the bomb. <laughs> by the way, still, by the way. Still upset over that? No, I'm not upset. By the way, I'm recording, so watch your mouth or don't. Okay. This is why we have an editor. Um, Tom. Oh, you, hello. Yeah. When did you start recording? So when you started saying you took kidneys. <laughs> what? Oh, it's the storm where we steal the cocaine. <laughs> the cocaine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, First of all, we do have no. a British person here. Uh, how would how would how does the Queen pronounce cocaine? Oi, mate. Cocaine. Okay. Would you like a syringe of it? A syringe of cocaine. Oh my good sir. Do you know what? Why don't we grab some opium and try and sell it to the Chinese? Again? <laughs> I, I, oh. I I say, Thomas, I don't think these are clarinets at all. today. Oh, I just need a little bit of the horse. As he's just like <laughs> let's, tying himself off. Let's Let's bring all these spices back from all around the world at gunpoint, but use none of them in our food. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get on the roof. I have a silencer. <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> Why? Why bring a silencer? Look at what- I have a silencer. A loud pop. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, somebody help Tom. There's a bulldozer over here. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Um, I see the dozer. There's a cloaker over there too. He's coming for me. Kill it. Uh, it's not coming for you anymore. It's dead. Yay. You killed it. Um, yeah. You're a hero. You, you did it. You, so, you did a thing. Did you just shoot that man with the rocket launcher? No. Yeah, there's so, so many drills. That doesn't All sound like me. Yep. Hey, there's some guys coming towards you. Oh. So, Tom. Oh, I'm dying. Tom, get in there and steal shit. Steal what shit? The guns. This whole place oh, is right. full of them, Tom. I thought there was cocaine. Hey, I got us a friend. There's no... Yeah, well, no. okay, there's potentially cocaine tomorrow, but not Ooh. today. Okay. What are you going to do oh. with the cocaine, Tom? Seed. Wait, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back, hold on. I need to phrase at the beginning of this. Oh, I have no. been recording. Okay. And secondly, okay. Uh, everything that is said, oh. unless expressly said otherwise, is for the purpose of this a joke. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This I is totally a work of parody and comedy. Oh yeah, well, me never having drugs. I don't own a machine gun. Who <laughs> owns <laughs> one I, I've of never, those? I've never partaken. I've done LSD mushrooms and... Yeah, L and LSD... I love killing cops. Oh my god, Tom. Um, Honestly, you think you're playing payday uh, too. For the, for the sake of, uh, sake of uh, explanation, this is a joke. LSD can be a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, yes. I mean, I, now look, winners don't do drugs. Um, you know, winners certainly don't yeah, do drugs don't at all. Um, don't do drugs, just drink a lot. Well, actually, no, Michael Phelps did, and he won a lot of gold. Shit. All right. Um, well, uh, Lance Armstrong never... Oh, wait, he cheated. Um, uh, well, to be yeah, fair, in Lance Armstrong's case, France. most everybody in the Tour de France was choosing at that time. Well, you can't say that. That's... that's that's allegedly, allegedly, I those mean, people allegedly. are able to no, ride no, they, I, thousands I, 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 of miles at a time. Allegedly, any normal person who just goes to the gym can do that, of course. To be yeah, fair, absolutely. even allegedly, if they were all doing something, it's still impressive. <laughs> yeah, no. See, my my opinion on sports is simple. Everything's legal. Everything should be legal in sports. So, like, imagine the NFL. The fucking it goes, and then these guys come out there who have been juicing for twenty years straight, and they are just walking mountains of meat, right? And then Seth, you, the oh, so good. That sounds delicious. You're fighting oh, Gregor. Was, what was, you're saying is all the linebackers are essentially Gregor. Gregor Kogay. Fuck! Why can't I say his name? It's okay. We're all a little retarded Gregor? sometimes. I'm just imagining all those, there are no rules. I'm like, okay, welcome to MMA. I shall now use my infamous martial arts gun cutter. Dude. I was, ab I was about to joke, I'm imagining a football game where like- He just pulls out an MG. Like, yeah, just like, hey, just pulls out a brown two, huh, huh, And then the quarterback just pulls out like a 38 snub nose. And <laughs> Yo, just pfft. like starts shooting linebackers as they're running towards them. Fuck yeah. I Tom, get Carl. back here! I, I killed them! Get back here! No. I mean, Grab back! Listen, let's, let's go! Let's just say it. Football would be a lot more entertaining if it Football was would be great! Over. Football, okay, okay, imagine, They're imagine, imagine F1. Oh, F1 racing. Ready? Everyone's on meth. Oh, okay. Everyone's on Adderall. <laughs> F Wait a second. F1 turned from F1 to fucking Mad Max. No, F1 yes. would turn into F1 to F0. I mean, you <laughs> I got the yeah, back. I, mean, I didn't see it on your back, Tom. I'm sorry. Oh, he ran out of gas, and now he's pushing the car at 100 miles an hour. Okay, Tom just disconnected. Yeah, I had to disconnect from the game. Okay, coming back. Gee whiz. Gee whiz, Tom. Gee whiz. Gee, do you know how many? Do you know how many orange trees I have destroyed getting you chocolate oranges, Tom? There's not enough chocolate orange trees left. You've destroyed them all. I want chocolate oranges. oranges. Tom, I want chocolate oranges. Tom, I there's not enough. There's not enough chocolate oranges, Tom. Let me have. Tom. Bail joining gang. Give me an invite text. Tom, I listen. All we got give left. Give me an invite, and give me chocolate oranges. I can give you Tom. one of those things. Tom, can you share some chocolate oranges? I haven't had one of those in years. I don't have any. No! Share! Share your wealth of chocolate oranges! I don't have any. Oranges? Don't I can, believe you. I can, I can add you to the list of no, people who don't, British drinks. Don't, don't tell him that because then he'll discover the pizza madness again. And he just shook that. He just shook that. He's been on detox. It's, 
There's no cure for what pizza madness. What the fuck madness. is pizza madness? There's no cure for pizza oh. madness. There's no cure for pizza madness. I feel like I've heard whispers of the pizza madness, but I do not know. It makes we'll you tell. punch pizza walls madness. and windows out and fight the head of security. Look, here's... Oh, it's a Space Station 13, isn't it? Yeah. Is that from the episode where you kept epilepsying, Tom? No, I, I don't epilepsy someone. anyone. Tom no, no, just no, no, no. does that. He no, does that. Sake. He kept doing it. I'm not saying you did it, Tess. You said yeah, you keep saying. epilepsying Tom. I did. No, no, no. I meant, do you keep epilepsying Tom? As in asking Tom, do you keep epilepsying? This is a com. Where do you place the comma? Uh, okay, okay. It's, yeah, no, no. no, no. Make I am not blaming you. Tom, you so don't have epilepsy. You just take that in Space Station 13 so you flop around like crazy. But you get more perk points if you take it. Okay, and what other perks do you take? Now that you've taken the seizures. I have random seizures. I don't remember. So, oh my God, yeah. He took dementia too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, nope. Parkinson's feet for 5D was my favorite addition to it. I, 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 I mean, because Tom always shows up in Space Station 13 as a cop who is morbidly obese. <laughs> like God. Baron Harkonnen walking up to your department. Oh, oh, and then he oh, just no. mid-conversation starts flopping on the ground uncontrollably yeah. while demanding yeah. things. Listen, Tom, okay. there might be cocaine in here. Whoa. There might be Michael Michael Kaina. There might Las be drogas. Las drogas. Okay, Mas drogas. Las drogas. Yeah, there there might be cocaine in here. There could be party pills. Are there, could be a are there cops for me to kill in here? Dude, Tom, this is FBI headquarters, Tom. It's FBI headquarters. Knock knock window cleaning. <laughs> I brought my silencer. <laughs> Oh my oh god. He got the whole right, just... world in his hands. He got, got the, the whole, whole wide, wide world, world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. See? We can be wholesome bank robbers. A Christian server. This Don't is be. yeah. How dare you shoot the cops on my Christian Minecraft server? <laughs> all right, all right. We got to get back inside. Yeah, I was supposed to say, do we even have this server? Oh. No, shit. we don't. We just Tom got excited. He saw a shiny piece of foil and he wandered outside. This happens sometimes. Tom, it it's just a gum wrapper. It's not a. It, yeah, it's it's not treasure, Tom. It's a gum wrapper. I thought it was treasure. Gum Tom, it's not treasure. It's in the street. Are you sure? Yes. It could be street treasure. Uh, no, it's oh, not street treasure. Okay, there's the. Okay, let's grab the, I have server. the server. I got it. Let me reload real quick. I Did am we out. make sure it actually has the files? It's not just full of like cat pictures. It was the only one I could pick up, so I assume it's the the right one. All right. I'll I'll take the other one. Be a problem if it was I mean, full of cat what? pictures. Yeah, like, do you have a problem with cat pictures? No, I mean, okay, all that glitters is not gold. I get it, but come on. I'll Tom, like, on here's one. here's my question. I might have to put you on a mission, Tom, a secret mission. <gasps> you, you might have to go to Wisconsin. A, uh, 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 for what? And That's a long-ass fucking way away. I know. There would be chocolate and oranges in it for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. A, a whole bag. I just I I'm gonna need you to maybe force stagger at gunpoint to get glasses. To get glasses? Yes. What do you want me to do? Hold his hands at the up. Yeah. The opposition. Sure. If necessary. If necessary, hold his hands. He is offering. Hold you his hand. Oh, okay, it's ready. Yay. Lunch. In public. In public? Yeah. You'll need pictures. Why do I give a crap about Stagger's eyesight? You look stupid with glasses. It's for chocolate oranges, Tom. I mean, I've never even had a chocolate orange. This is just a stupid joke that you guys did. Right, but I'm Are saying- you you, you've never actually had a chocolate orange? No. It, okay, now I am concerned because those are legitimately delicious. It, it, I'm sorry, I, can you? Is that all right? Before we go any further, I want to comment how unique it is that Tom is the one fabric, flabbergasting confused for once and not- <laughs> Tom being the instigator of why everyone's confused and staring. 
Yeah. Like, he's being the rational one in this. They gassed the area. Oh, which area did they gas? The front um, door. Oh, okay, um, that's not too bad. Did, did you forget, did you eat Taco Bell before you went on this heist? Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. You just, forgot just, to wear right. a diaper again? Yes. Tom, uh, don't. You know no. what happens when you try the Taco Bell challenge. You die? All right. I'm, yeah, I'm there is actually a that. sodium warning on that. Like, you you need to be in actually okay health before <laughs> doing it. Oh, I was going to make him I mean, a friend. I mean, That's so, so let, me, let me see if I remember correctly. It's $20. No. As much as... Okay. Okay, For I, I have to preface this. For legal uh -huh. purposes, Mr. Tex is not encouraging anyone to undertake undergo the Taco Bell challenge. It is incredibly unhealthy, and I have to give the preface story for it. Okay, so back in college, there was this thing called the Four Liter Club, which was you had to drink four liters of beer in 45 minutes without getting up, without throwing up, and at the end of that 45 minutes, at the time, you had to throw a dart at a dartboard and hit the dartboard. Okay? Oh, no. So I was a member of the four liter club and the second time I tried to do it to prove that I could do it I did it with Guinness Stout now I don't know why I thought that was a good idea four liters of Guinness is quite filling it made me quite ill and when I threw the dart it went to someone's back so the four liter <laughs> club after that and a few other incidents maybe a dart hit someone in the head not getting into that it oh, didn't no. kill anybody it just you know dart hanging out of the face doesn't make college look good so they didn't want to get known as a party school so they uh, they, they said no four liter club and they banned selling beer on campus so then last year at college and this is 2007 last year my undergraduate degree we did the replacement challenge for it which was the taco bell challenge because we said man we need a new challenge and i said well it's almost impossible to find a place that'll let us do that beer drinking challenge. And he said, yeah, that's bullshit. And I said, it, it would almost be like trying to eat 25 bucks worth of Taco Bell. Um, and one of the guys said, way of grinding that. And so one of the guys said, I can eat $25 worth of Taco Bell. And I said, no human being can eat $25 worth of Taco Bell. So the challenge was born. $25 worth of 2007 money adjusted for inflation of Taco Bell. You have to eat everything in 45 minutes. You cannot go to the bathroom. You cannot get up. You cannot have any outside beverage. If you throw up or tap out, you lose. Now, I do not encourage this because one, there is a genuine sodium warning in this. Like you, you could eat enough salt to cause very bad health problems. Don't do it. Two, it's Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell. Don't do it. Three, if you do do this, you may have such a powerful shit, you may not need to ever shit again. It may kill you. However, I, I myself, in college, attempted the Taco Bell Challenge three times in my final year. I failed every single time. Mm. This sounds like a challenge. We had Sex. one person in the Legion do it. One. Oh, no. And they, they are no longer in the Legion. It was PHW, the Taco Wizard. PHW, if you're out there, you are a mad motherfucker. Because the problem with the Taco Bell challenge is everyone looks at the menu, and everyone goes, oh, I know how to do this. And they do the Taco Bell math in their heads, and they go, oh, well, I'm just going to eat four of the most expensive things on the menu. Yes, if you custom order a quesadilla, you can get a $13 quesadilla. Eat two $13 quesadillas at Taco Bell. Just fucking try. See what fucking happens. You will die. So this guy, PHW, did the exact opposite, like He-Man, and fucking ate brute force method. He got all small, soft tacos. Oh, my God. And he just started eating like a steam shovel. He didn't stop eating until he was done. So... So we're talking, uh, so he, he brute forced his way man, through nothing but soft tacos? Soft tacos. That was, that was the, Okay, I can um, see that, I can see how that would work better because you, that would help cut down on the salt, the extra salt you get from the hard taco. Yeah, but it's tacos. all that tortilla, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's just still hard. And keep, I, I want to preface it. The and person who is making like, all of these thoughts and doing like, the process here is the guy who has had two heart surgeries. So, um... 
Don't do it. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I'm sitting there thinking, like, how exactly would you proceed to tackle this? Uh, and, it, you, you, uh, you, if, if you were going to do it with heart concerns, you would have to get nothing but, nothing but the cinnamon churros. Yeah, no. Like well, the well, cinnamon see, twists? I don't yeah, think, yeah. And, and no, and let me, <clears throat> I had a guy in college do that. He was like, oh, I'm going to eat all these. Okay, let me, let me give you a hint how that's going to play out. If you get $25 of cinnamon churros, okay, $25 of cinnamon churros at $1 per bag, and then you finish that off with a Baja Blast, oh, when you oh, no. eat all those cinnamon churros, and then you put that Baja Blast in your mouth hole, it will proceed to eject out the mouth hole like a bobsled team. Everything is leaving your stomach instantly. Okay, hold on. Watch, watch. Stealth. All right, I got him. You cannot. Right. Do not try the, the challenge. I'm coming no, down the stairwell with All right, that, hold that on. That would require me to be wanting to eat Taco like Bell. Yeah, it's, so, okay, we did the burger challenge. That was a nightmare, and that's where we decided not to do any more food challenges. Okay, so, so the, the burger, burger the, Get a single burger. A single burger that was like 30 bucks. What? Okay. It has to be at a fast food place. Oh, otherwise, no, you go mind, to no. otherwise you go to a fancy burger joint. You're like, oh yes, oh, I had the fancy burger and that was forty seven dollars. It's like, no, you you have to you yeah the the this had to be a fast food burger and uh, goat did it. I think goat did it at Wendy's. I, I think all those challenges are pretty much moot and void. Oh, yeah, there is only one. There is only one I think that would be remotely safe. And again, I could not condone it. But this is the way I would frame it: is go to a subway where sandwiches are cheap as balls. And the the challenge would be whoever can get the most expensive subway sandwich and actually finish it in a single sitting. So, so that's the challenge. Like, it's it's not only just what you can get them to make you like a $38 sandwich or whatever, but if you can actually eat it in one sitting. So it's a two-part challenge, because at a certain point, they'll be like, sir, this has to go on another sandwich. You have to okay, be smart. Seconds. You have to partition uh, I have a sandwich. I think it would depend heavily on your hometown, like up with, in my little town. Vault's open. Hey, Tom, Tom, go back in the... Go back in the okay, never mind. And they will do anything. If you if you're saying you're paying for it, they will put anything in that sandwich. Well, I'll have that sandwich. Uh, yes, I'll have a side of Rolex. They will. They will. They will give a shit. <laughs> well, the, I require it to be completely a made. Person, made. A person it up. wants a person wants brought in their own light it up filling oh. and they put it in there. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> I gotta say that makes your um, uh, subways much more awesome. Yeah, and the subway I worked for. Which yeah, the the ones. Okay, I'm gonna say this. The gross. Okay. Extra ammo. We used to have really bad games. Like we played really, really bad games, um, time and time again. I mean, just really, really bad games. One of them uh, we used to call it Craigslist, uh, Craigslist Poker, where we would all go around and we had to have a poker card of hands, and each poker card had specific rules. So you had to find five poker cards, all right? And I remember one of them was on the Craigslist back when they used to do the um, uh, personal ads. We had to find God. the creepiest personal ad, um, and we had to find uh, another one of the cards was the worst car that is street legal that you can buy. Oh, that's easy to do oh. on Craigslist. Yeah, the worst car yeah, that is street. Craigslist. Yeah, that is that is street legal. So it can't be a Hulk. It can't be like a rusted out frame of a car. It has to be something that runs and is titled. You know. Um, mm. And so it was like a sketchy car, a sketchy person, and the sketchy. I mean, each card was a different thing, and you had to create a hand. You had an hour of internet searching to do it. And it was, uh, the, the further requirement was that it had to all be within a hundred miles of where you currently lived. Mm. And, Ooh. and so that got really funny because the guys I knew who were like in LA were just beating the shit out of people at this game. Well, yeah, it's LA. LA. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we got we got the money. Tom has been. Oh, Jesus Christ, Tom, you're fast. Whoa. Is it so fast? I was like in the menu and I forgot that I had the stream going. I'm like, what the fuck is that sound? I saw. Tom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah, no, but modern Craigslist kind of sucks, but uh, the personals were, like, Craigslist personals were absolutely terrifying. Oh, I, I remember one where it was like, I, I sell oregano by the ounce, the half ounce, the quarter, and the eighth ounce. My oregano <laughs> is organic. My oregano is award-winning. My oregano is, you know, and it, okay. the prices were for weed. And it was awesome because uh, the cops were like, you're selling weed. And he's like, no, it's oregano. So the cops scheduled a a buy off this guy, and he ended up selling the cops oregano. It turned out it was a huge scam. All he did really was sell oregano. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. No, Craigslist was a wow. fun time. <laughs> it's, up there, it's up there with the oh, with the game that uh, oh, one of the local radio stations used to play. I was actually do that as a scam, but... Yeah. That is a new level of trolling. That, that is... is. That's not trolling. That's being smart. Yeah, that's not. Okay, bacon A's is not a sauce. Bacon A's is weird bacon. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it can't be if you run it through a blender enough. God damn it, I was going to say that. My, my mental image is now Baron Harkonnen floating, like, floating into a kitchen in, like, PJs. And he just gets a cup of coffee. He looks at the breakfast pan and just starts pouring bacon grease into it. And he just says, ah, yes. Where was I? All right. Your treaties will fall! <laughs> and he just hovers away. Oh, what, you know, okay. What I think would have made the Baron Harkonnen scenes even better is if he said something really dark and scary. And then as he hovered away, you just saw a turd hit the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, but it just hits the floor and splats, and he's like, "Sweep that up." <laughs> it would be very fitting too. <laughs> and, and like, hot young Sting is standing behind him, going, "Ew." Yeah, just like, "Ugh." It's it's loud. It's loud. That's just... what I think of your trade deals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no, a no. it's a big boy. <laughs> Oh god, it's like a river. So, Holy someone shit. told me that the uh, Sci-Fi Channel miniseries, they actually do Baron Harkonnen really Yeah, it's well. it's it's, it's, it's pretty decent eye. if you look at it as a play. Because as a, as a movie, it's not great. But as a play, you know, you say, oh, these are stage props and this is a stage show. It's It's fine.